Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a Godfather pie. This is pie. It's not a piece of pie. It's more like an Italian version of a shepherd's pie. You can see I've got my potatoes over here boiling, and i got some hot Italian sausage in my pan cooking. I'm going to finish the cooking of my sausage, and then I'm going to add the stuff to make it a filling. The filling is going to be a tomato soup, fabulous, some Italian seasoning, and some mixed vegetables, because everybody needs a vegetable. And I'm going to top it with my potato toppings, and my potato topping is out of this world. Totally fabulous. In this potato topping, I'm using this fantastic Philadelphia cooking cream with the Italian and cheese and herbs, because Italian and cheese and herbs, you just kind of get better than that. I'm going to mash that up in my potatoes, and we're going to top my filling, we're going to pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay, I'm going to keep a cooking my sausage, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. My sausage is all nice and browned up. And my potatoes are still boiling. I'm going to add my next ingredient, which is a can of tomato soup. A tip about keeping your potatoes from boiling over. Add about a half a teaspoon of butter to the boiling water as it starts to boil. It will keep your potatoes from a foaming and keep them from boiling over. Then you don't have to worry about them. Okay, I think I got most of my tomato soup there. Now I'm going to add just a pinch of Italian seasoning. Just a pinch, about a fourth of a tablespoon. The Italian sausage it flavors everything nicely. You don't need a lot of flavor. And then I'm going to add my mixed vegetables. I just got a bag of a frozen mixed vegetables. I'm going to dump those in there. Just like that. Super simple. The frozen water that's on the vegetables will add enough water to keep your filling just perfect. Now I'm going to let this continue to cook, stir it up, and get my potatoes ready to mash as soon as they're ready to cook, and then I'm going to put it in the oven. So we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish and assemble this Italian Godfather pie. We'll be right to back. Okay, well, I'm back. I'm making my Godfather pie here. Now in my pan here I have my potatoes which I've boiled up. To keep them to boil real quick, I went ahead and I diced them in about a fourth of a inch to a half of an inch dice. I returned them to my hot pan and let them steam off some of the water for a minute or two. And I added a fourth of a cup of butter. Butter, you gotta have butter in your mashed potatoes. We go through butter in this house like nobody's business. Um, now I'm gonna add to my potatoes while I'm a mash and I'm gonna add this Italian and cheese and our cooking cream. Wonderful stuff. All you gotta do is spoon it in. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to spin the whole tub in. Get every last delicious drop. Okay. Now that I've got every last delicious drop of that Philadelphia cooking cream in my potatoes, I'm going to mash them up. I'm going to get them nice and smooth. And as you can see, I've already taken my filling with the Italian sausage, the tomato soup, the mixed vegetables, and a little Italian seasoning, and I put them in my baking dish. You can also mash your potatoes with a mixer if you want. I don't have a hand mixer. I've only got my stand mixer, so it's easier if I just mash them by hand. Oh, I can smell the Italian cheese and herb. It's absolutely wonderful. All right. Those look like they're about ready. You want them to be fairly thick, but a little thin too. You don't want them to be too stiff because you want to spread them out on your top of your filling. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to take my potatoes, and I'm going to spread them out 
on top of my feelings. You don't have to go from side to side, but you can if you want. You can dollop them on, you can spread them on. It's up to you. Me, I kind of like to spread them on. Because when we're done spreading these potatoes on, we're going to top them with more cheese. Because you can never have too much cheese. Especially in a Godfather pie. In more ways than one, you know. Alright, there we go. I'm going to spread that around evenly. Now I'm going to top it with some cheese. The filling is already hot. The potatoes are already hot. They're going to stop melting the cheese. But we're going to bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Just to give it a nice melted cheese and, and a nice brown on the top. We'll put that in the oven. We'll have it the bacon. And I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I'm back. I've had my uh, Godfather pie in the oven for about a 20 minutes. And it's, it's pretty dark here. I'm going to take it out and then I'll show you. And there we go. You can see the cheese is all nice and melted. I'm getting a little bit of a brown around the edges. And the filling is bubbling up from the inside. That's the what you want. It may take 15 minutes, it may take up to 25. Usually it takes about a 20. And it's just the perfect. And I'm going to serve this up to my family. And we're going to enjoy this for our lunch on this lovely afternoon. So I hope you enjoy this recipe for Godfather Pie as much as my family does.